Hi everybody, I'm Lights Camera Jackson. I predicted five months ago when the first and only trailer for Saving Mr. Banks was released that this making of Mary Poppins movie was going to be one of the best films of the year. With two two-time Oscar winners and director John Lee Hancock of The Blind Side at the helm, Saving Mr. Banks exceeds all my expectations. Banks is designed with two parallel stories. Growing up in Australia in the early 1900s, young Pamela Travers lives with her mother, younger sisters, and father, played by Colin Farrell who calls her Ginty and encourages her to dream, use her imagination, and not turn out like him, a drunk. This serves as the backdrop for the story behind the story of the flying nanny. The adult P.L. Travers, the acclaimed Poppins author, played by Emma Thompson, has been courted by Walt Disney, Tom Hanks, for over 20 years. He promised his daughters that he would make Mary Poppins fly off the pages of her books. But Travers has refused to give Disney the rights to her work. Finally, in 1961, in need of money, she decides to travel from London to California for two weeks to listen to Walt's latest pitch, read the script, and see if the Disney version of her story is up to her very high standards. The bitter Travers dislikes everything from the moment she arrives in Los Angeles, and then she steps into the Disney studios and lets her opinions loose on every single idea. Responsible. Responsible. Now, how no, no, does no, that no. sound? No, 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 no. Responsible is not a word. We made it up. Well, unmake it up. And throughout her visit, Travers is haunted by her painful childhood memories, which force her to hold on even tighter to her very personal story. Like Mary Poppins herself, Saving Mr. Banks is practically perfect in every way. I haven't walked out of a film so touched, so invigorated, and so moved in a very long time. There's so much love and care poured by the heaping spoonful into every scene. Thompson captures Travers beautifully. She's quick-witted and brutally honest, with a warm, deep soul and a troubled past that needs to be reconciled. Hanks is fantastic as the no-nonsense master of the mouse. There's a showcase scene near the end of the film that Hanks pulls off with such ease, you simply sit and watch in amazement. Farrell is also quite good, and Paul Giamatti turns driver Ralph, a minor character, into one of the most memorable in the entire film. The score is tip-top, accompanied by renditions of Poppins' songs. Above it all is the wonderful original screenplay by Sue Smith and Kelly Marshall. It was impossible not to tear up at times and join in with the cheering audience at the end of the screening. On the official LCJ report card, Saving Mr. Banks gets an A. This is a sweet, heart-tugging film that's destined, like the film at Chronicles, to become a classic. I'm Lights Camera Jackson. For all the latest news and movie reviews, you can go to lights camera jacksoncom and follow me on Twitter at LCJ Reviews.